Hey guys, Jerome Sliders here, and welcome to another episode of Playtime. This time I'm playing Stargate, which was released in 1995 and was published by Acclaim Entertainment, who of course have now gone bust several years ago, and was developed by Probe Entertainment Limited. And this is based on the film, which came out in 1994, not the subsequent TV series that came afterwards. And this is just a short little intro there showing the story so far and this game does take place a little into the film uh, when they uh, have used Stargate to arrive on the desert world of Abydos and we are playing as Colonel Jack O'Neill who was of course portrayed in the film by Kurt Russell and later in the TV series by that perennial favourite Richard Dean Anderson who of course starred in MacGyver before that. Anyway, back to this game in question. We, the primary weapon is a shotgun, which uh, quite fortunately has unlimited ammo, so that's very helpful. Although it takes quite a lot of bullets to kill any of these, any of the uh, beetles and that that roam the surface, and uh, it's not all that helpful. In fact, uh, grenades are more helpful. So. That's what you have to do. And uh, I, one of the things I do really like about this game that stands out to me is the animation. I really like how Jack moves in this game. He seems to be very fluid, particularly as he turns. It, uh, it's very well done, I think. Hold on. Oh, who, who's that? Oh, look, it's Daniel. Daniel Jack. Dr. De Daniel Jackson, who was played by James Spader. And he, Daniel is telling us that we have to find different supplies hidden in these caves. Alright. Uh, I really enjoyed the film when it came out. I uh, was a bit too young to see it when, I came, when it came out originally. But I do remember seeing it many years later and it was a really fun premise to see a, uh, a device that could let you travel to other worlds. And uh, I, I'm more familiar with the TV series particularly Stargate SG-1, which in my opinion is the best, that lasted for over 10 years of 10 seasons and uh, several feature films and oh, I've died and I'm being brought back to life, luckily. You get sort of five lives, so they're not really called lives, they're called tribes to save the people of Abydos. But I have to say these guns are a bit, a bit useless, they just they can only really destroy these little flying creatures, they don't really do much on bigger enemies, so you just sort of have to run past them. And, you know, as you can see, it's standard run and gun gameplay, but it, it works perfectly well. It's very solid. Oh, can we go over there? Yes, we can. And, you know, it, and the game works fine, it's a solid action platformer that uses the license well, you know, which is more than you can say for many licensed games today. We just have to jump over there. There are some deviations uh, from the from the film. You do face Ra, who is the main antagonist of the, of the game, who is of course the main boss of the film, and but also they add the character Anubis, who in this game, who is Ra, one of Ra's generals, who in the actual TV series doesn't appear until quite a bit later. But I've uh, I've always enjoyed the Stargate TV series, and it's a shame that the most recent one, Stargate Universe, was cancelled um, because it had a more of a focus on the relationships, as it was kind of a lost in space premise. It was more about the human relationships than it was about the alien races. In fact, barely any aliens appeared at all in Stargate Universe. And, um, it's a shame that it got cancelled after its second season. But come on. Oh, these bugs are really irritating. It takes so much to kill them. Oh god, oh, jump. A lot of this, these early levels here, you've just got to explore these different caves in order to 
get different supplies in order for you to progress onwards. Alright, take take this guy out. Alright, we'll, I'll just... It's better just to run past them, really. I would say don't waste your ammo, but there's no ammo to waste because it's unlimited. Alright, now we just... Run forward here. That's the best move, just run past all the enemies. No, hold on, the gates are... The gates to the city are not open. I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to go back. Girls, I think I've missed some supplies. Just go back in there. So this is quite a large cave, so there's quite a lot to see here. So I've just got to make my way and get all of the supplies in order for the gate to open. Gotta watch my health there. Oh, can we get in? Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go a little further back. Oh, careful with the health. Okay, this was the bigger of the three caves that I went in, went into. No, go back, go back in, go back in. There we go. Controls can be a bit fiddly sometimes, but they they work they work perfectly fine. Okay, can we? Okay, okay. Took it. See, you see, the grenades are much more effective there than the guns. And I think if I get hit once more, I'm probably going to lose a life. So I will try my best to avoid getting hit. Nope. Spoke too soon. But the magi will bring you back to life, or wizard. Only four attempts are remaining. Now I have must say I had no clue this game even existed um, at all. It was released in 1995 for the Super Nintendo and Sega Mega Drive, and I and I if I if I knew this game existed back then I probably would have bugged my parents until they bought it for me. Um, but I only discovered this game about a couple of weeks ago, so I thought I'd add it to the list of games to play and see what you guys thought of it. Oh, good, we're doing alright with health, so just can we get this bug? No. It looks a bit like a stag beetle, really, but I've just got to uh, avoid it. Oh. Make see. Jack makes some odd, odd grunting sounds when he's climbing ropes and jumping. Oh well, I think that's everything I need here, so I'm just going to run back. Alright. Avoid all these. Avoid this guy. Okay, more health. Always appreciated. Come on. Do your best. Attack. Can we? Yes. Can we get him? Yeah, we go. Got him. Alright. Let's move onward. Back the way we came. Boy, you just keep running at this point. There's no point trying, trying to engage. Just run past everyone. To jump down. And over the rope, jump across, and there we go, there's the entrance. Back into the deserts of Abydos we go. And now at this point we're just going to run to the gate for health and pick up all the power-ups we can. Just avoid... Oh, take... there you go. And into the city. In the film this is the city where the Jack Jack and his team go after after encountering a sandstorm and that this is the city where they take shelter there are more enemies here so we've got to do our best to avoid them oh okay jump over this oh, wait, 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 hold on something in my way here not just this beat there we go I think we have to shoot our way through. Yeah, we there we go. 
gotta shoot, gotta shoot your way through. Keep going forward. Okay. Okay, anything down here? Take out that guy. Oh, he doesn't seem to be doing anything there. Okay, well, hold on. This is interesting to get to to explore. Let's see what we got. Lots of power-ups, which is good. We'll just grab everything we can here. It's always the best thing about platforming games is to ex explore every nook and cranny you can find. Because you don't know if it will come in handy later on. So it's best to explore and grab everything you can. Don't know what that is, but it's I guess it's useful. More sparkly bits, and we're just now going to make our way back up and out of this complex. More health, that's good. Just over halfway health replenished. And is there anything over there? Uh, I don't think so, so we're going to have one quick look. No, there isn't, so we're just going to take take out these flying fly there. And we're going to head back. Alright. So guys, I think I'm going to conclude things here. This has been Stargate. So remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. So until then, peace out guys.